What is going on YouTube? This is John from Fatic coming to you with a random matchup against Powercock. Uh, this was an uh, uncharacteristic war here. Uh, I, I don't I know exactly what was going on with this thing. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, I do. We we failed a lot of dips, so that, that's that's what cost it. it. That's the problem with some of these matchups. Uh, it's just, both sides had five town all 11s. We had a heavy 9.5 advantage in this, but... When your Town Hall 11s can 3-star everybody with an Inferno, you, the, the game basically just becomes about dipping the bases, and that's it. So they, they did uh, have a Mass Miner that got GLB. Uh, what can you do at that? Um... Look, at he got 70% on me doing the same thing. Uh just happened. I, I, I don't know. Uh, some Sometimes these miners, I'll tell you what. <laughs> they can never do this for me, though. Or else I'd do it every, war, every, every raid. But uh, let's see here. Uh, we're actually going to start by showing this dip by Shaggy. Uh, let's preface this a little bit. Uh, we had already had two dip fails, and I ended up being the third one, which sucked. Uh, but uh, I ended up just going off because uh, Shaggy presented a plan. It was a cold-blooded uh, boner, and we've been using Shattered uh, because his whole thing for using only one golem was that he needed more miners because they're only level three. Well, I told him that the miners are a complement to his kill squad. The way that you triple these bases is that your, is that your kill squad gets a monstrous push, and he ended up switching over to Shattered to give himself a better funnel, make sure all of his bowlers went in, because our two fails were, were funnel fails. And let's just watch and see this monster push that he got. So we'll just go to times two, because it is a dip. But there you go, you see he's got security here, so that way he's able to use the minor baby dragon. I mean, he could have probably used that with, that, with the uh, cold-blooded, but he's able to get some assistance to take care of this uh, mortar here so nobody really wanders. The queen goes and gets this uh, dark barracks and that's about it. So rage down, jump, warden ability, look at that, he's all the way th almost through the core before the miners go down. Almost 60% damage just from his kill squad. And that's really what you're looking for in these dips. Uh, not, not the mass miner spray and pray or anything like that, it's just Get a great push out of your kill squad and send the miners to flank them. I personally like to send the miners so that way it tries to force the kill squad to take the second inferno as well. Uh, so they just run side, run right along the side. As you see here, he actually executed so well that he only needed two heals. So his third one's just not even being used. He could have probably brought a rage and dominated even more. Uh, it's really just what what we look for there. So. Great adjustment, Shaggy. Thanks for listening on it. Let's see here. Dips all down. We didn't... I don't think we got that many triples. But Alex got himself a six-pack this war. And I think at least one of them was fresh. So he is going to do this with the Queen Charge Mass Miner. And he's got eight wall breakers in the bag, so you know he's, go, he's going through some layers here. So minions are working to do some funneling, keep her pushed in so she doesn't get too distracted. And prefers to go into the holes. So the first set of wall breakers should be coming down now. And I don't know if she was intended to take that or not. But he does do quite well on adjustment for it. So there's the queen in there, she gets a CC pull. Handles the wizard tower. She's only going to be hit by a cannon while she's dealing with the CC. So she does not have much to worry about. Meantime, some wall breakers come down to help break her in. Unfortunately, the queen decides to take them out. Or the, not the queen, the archer tower. We'll just speed up through this. So rage down to help the queen speed up through the, through the golem. And the queen's just going to walk around the outside because she can't go in. Meanwhile, the king comes down from up top. Drops the ability. King should be going and getting this Inferno. Miners are coming in from behind to help get the king, buy the king some time. 
and focus back to the Inferno. You know, very little Inferno damage to the Miners here. In fact, they even get brought in because some of the Skeletons hitting the Cane distract them. Meanwhile, the Queen's starting to lose her healers. Or else she'd have gone up and gotten this guy here. You know, we got a rage spell for the miners here. They're going to start working through the clan castle, at Tesla farm, all that. You know, some we get, some need a double bomb down here, so they're not going to make it too much longer. But as you can see there, we have miners and wizards coming around to clean up to meet the queen. And queen will be able to work to take out these point defenses and miners collapse on the inferno to come finish up probably on the expo here. Oh, there was a Tesla or hut in the corner. Not a, a store pump pump in the corner. Here's the second part of his six pack. And this one's a shattered boner. I think he's coming in from 6 o'clock. Some archers down to start funneling corner buildings where there's plenty of room for them. Golem, Baby Dragon down. Baby Dragon's going to take that Golem out, or the Mortar out. He's only rocking level 4 Golems too, so he's got to work a little bit faster than uh, the rest of us do. Wallbreaker's down to get everybody into the corner there. Cane Bowler's coming. And we should be jumping on the wizard tower, I believe. There we go. So, minion's still doing a lot of work up top. He could potentially funnel that whole side there. And let's see here. We got rage, poison's down, cane goes get the queen. Uh, probably popped her ability right on a bomb. So, all this is all his huts, or barbs. I am just doing terrible today trying to record this after four days. I'm going to be doing four videos at once, so the next four videos could probably really suck from me. For that, I apologize. There you go. Miners all meeting up on a bomb, but heal down for them. They're fine. Queen loses all of her spawned archers. Not going to be a big deal. Both Infernos are already gone. So there's a heal down for the miners. Queen's continuing her quest to make their job a lot easier. And we'll just speed this up because there's a ton of miners left. Queen's still standing. Swag's a heal. Good raid, Alex. And this could be the start of the 9.5 dips, so we're not going to show any of those. Walrus Jr. coming way up to hit somebody. With 2019 heroes versus a 30 25. Or 25 30. So, starts with the Queen Walk with only a level 19 Queen. And she's going to be responsible for taking out a level 30 Queen. I would assume she's being broken into that uh, elixir storage there. Poison and Rage is down for the Queen, so she should hopefully take out that P.E.K.K.A. quickly. Pops the ability before he hits her. Cause it's, especially because the healers weren't under Rage. He, it looks like he probably missed with his Rage spell. Poison's Queen, so he's got a little bit more time. Sends in a bunch of wall breakers onto the storage, like I thought, and he's going to work his way in there. Another rage down for the queen. The healer's not in it. The healers don't need to be yet. This is mostly just to speed her up. But she's going to get two air defenses, two sweepers, the cannon. A lot of value here for this queen charge. Although it's probably going to start losing some uh, healers here in a minute. Yep, there we go. So there we go. Sends down some a hound and some loons to start clearing out that side there. 
comes across the entire Tesla wall, so probably wasn't a cleanup. There probably was a cleanup attack. Everybody gets hasted into the air defense. Final hog comes down right in time for that first one to pop. And everybody's going to slowly make their way to that other air defense. There's a pair of wizard towers that can make things pretty dicey. And the last expo was on the ground, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Hound unpopped, so... Good raid, Walrus. Lee versus the short bus prodigy. Oh, Lee is a 9.5. I forgot about that. He's new. Same thing with Howard. I've already watched some walrus. Let's watch Lord of the Skies. And maybe this is the one he accidentally hit attack on. I don't remember. It may have been because he's taken a while here to get started. So there's King down, poison down for the CC, and King goes to get the Queen. He's got a Penta cooked up, Zapquake Penta. And I think afterwards he says, like, fortunately, uh, Queen was available for being picked off like the base he was planning on hitting. I don't know how he accidentally hit attack on this one. But it does happen. Here we go. We got hounds coming in. Hound is going to the raw air defense, more than likely. In fact, that hound's probably just going to be left to die. Unless the queen goes over to get that, uh, oh, those expos going to take care of it all. So, Tesla farm gets left. Queen's smoked. It looks pretty dismal. But here we go. Loons are going to go continue on their own path away from the new set of loons. Fortunately, it's only point defenses hitting them, so they do get a little bit of work done. So, haste the loons into their defense. This is completely ad-lib, you can tell. Got two hounds, including a max hound, coming in there, so they're going to go sit in front of Teslas here in a minute. Or at least the max one is. Momentarily. There we go. The max hound's going to get out in front of everybody after only one balloon dies. So that balloon tanking for the hound is going to help him out a bit because the hound's going to last a lot longer. And there we go. Loons in. Loons are just barely going to make it through. Very close. But this was a nice adjustment. Oh, and everybody gets dropped by a red bomb. Fortunately, there's plenty of pups. Good raid, Blaine. Let's watch what Tim does here. Tim's going to do a Shattered Hobo. So we'll just speed this up. <clears throat> Another golem comes in. Everybody's going to meet up on the... What happened up there? I want to see what happened at that 12 o'clock corner. Sorry. <laughs> we'll speed it up to there. So there's Baby Dragon doing some funneling. Let's go here. Let's see. Oh, go a balloon on a troll Tesla. And it popped a whole bunch of bombs. Wow. 
<laughs> that didn't do you any good, buddy. <laughs> Although there was a wizard there to help. Okay, so there we go. We got uh, bowlers all coming in. They're just wrecking house. Second jump is down. Hogs are coming in. Skip the air defense, but that's not going to shoot at anybody anymore. There we go. They're sweeping around to get the final compartment. There's still six hogs in the bag. So wisely saves two, but probably could have sent them a little bit earlier to get everybody out of the trash rain faster. But it does not matter. He probably had a ton of time left on this. Swag's a poison. Damio, let's see what he does. Another stone hobo. As you can see with, with the trend there, this is just the attack right now at Town Hall 9. Strong as hell. Although I like the shattered uh, Gobolo. Or Bolalo. That's my new favorite. Maybe I'll get to the chance to play with it for this weekend for you. So you can see the air noob, how they can finally attack by air. Go, we got jump, we got rage. Should be healing sometime soon, maybe, I don't know. Uh maybe he's just playing on swag in the heal, because he probably can. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna hold it. Let's just go to two X here. That Keen is being quite pesky. Actually heals up the Keen, but or his Keen before the Keen gets over there to not fight anybody. So we'll call that swag. And I think that we'll cook, we'll call this one done. Uh, sucks that it came down to dip fails. Uh, eleven versus Le or town hall eleven performance deciding a war kind of is a bummer. Uh, definitely got to work on our comps. So we're either. Because 10 versus 10 is one of our strengths, and we're not highlighting it when we can have all the enemy Town Hall 11s take all of our 10s, too. So, that will happen, and uh, unfortunately it resulted in a loss, but we got a hopefully good arranged war coming up this weekend, and uh, should be bringing it to you as soon as I can. Till then, thanks for watching.